We're working with Hale Dickinson, a very successful law firm in Manchester, but we're looking at how they can get more success from the things they do, just be a bit sharper, a bit more clinical, just get that extra few percent of performance. So we've had a, a workshop that's run over a number of weeks, uh, culminating today in looking at mindset, how you approach different tasks. Today, I'm gonna cover mindset, which is probably my favorite topic of all when it comes to sport. We eventually make it across the finish line. I look up and next to my name there is the big number two. We finish second. Now this was never part of the plan, obviously. It's been really useful. Um, so to have someone come in externally uh, and, and look at what we do as a team um, is, is very good. To have Neil to come in and give us that perspective and with his sporting background, it's been very useful. Just that perspective of this thing it's, I've hung on to all day long, it's brought me down the whole day, that if I just changed my way of thinking, I could just let it go and it'd be gone. I'd certainly rec highly recommend this. Um, I think it's hugely motivational. I think teams can get a lot from it. I think Neil's Earn Your Stripes model fit is very well thought through, uh, with a huge focus on drive and performance. And I think there's something in there for any team and to take away. At the highest level of performance on a race day, that could be a couple of tenths of a second at least, and that's the difference between winning the gold and not even making the plane sometimes, it's, it's so tight. The insights and lessons I've learned from elite sport really do transfer into the business world. It's really exciting for me to share it with a different world, away from sport, doing something a bit different, but it still has that cutting edge performance competitiveness to it.